Your father's love for you is total, infinite, and constant, he never forgets even one of you for as much as an instant. You are permanently enveloped in his divine embrace, safe, secure, and at peace, needing nothing and desiring nothing because you have everything, he gave you everything when he created you. One of the many unfortunate aspects of your illusion is your inability to clearly perceive and understand the oneness of all that exists. Because all is one in God there is absolutely nothing to fear. Within the illusion things appear in a totally different light, and a seemingly defensive action against another is inevitably an attack on oneself, the word light is perhaps not the most appropriate one to use in this context. Many of you have read stories of people's near-death experiences which demonstrate quite clearly that reality is all that exists and that it is a place of total love and acceptance, in which you have your eternal existence. When your own doubts or anxieties about the truth of this arise remind yourselves of the uplifting, inspiring, and comforting near-death experience stories that you have read because they give you a very good overview of what to expect when you eventually choose to lay down your human bodies, as you know you will, releasing yourselves into the infinite freedom of reality. When that occurs total comprehension will dawn on you with a sense of amazement and wonder. The illusion, in which you have been having such unpleasant and painful experiences for so long, is approaching its point of termination the moment for its dissolution because you have all become quite disenchanted with it. You have been in the process of changing your minds about it because the dog-eat-dog -dog or winner-takes-all philosophy that has intrigued and motivated you for so long is no longer appealing, and you are finally understanding its insanity. As a result numerous organizations based on it are collapsing, as support is withdrawn from them and their members leave to join new ones that are forming with compassionate and loving infrastructures, designed to accommodate the needs of all on the planet. These enormous changes in progress are part of humanity's awakening awareness that war and conflict the eons old methods of gaining political advantage do not work, cannot work, and need to cease. Moves have been afoot since the end of World War I to attempt to bring peace to the planet, but the old ways have been so firmly ingrained in humanity's consciousness that it has been very difficult to bring effective changes into being. Fear of the enemy, whoever that happened to be, encouraged politicians and the military to continue developing ever more efficient killing machines as they convinced themselves, and persuaded you, that by having the latest in weaponry they were protecting you all from the dire consequences of being caught unprepared by an enemy's attack. And your history does seem to support that point of view. But of course the end result of that philosophy has been an escalation in the variety of weapons available, and an escalation in the numbers of military forces that are armed with them. An ongoing state of war has prevailed in many places because armies expect to be employed and their commanders are always on the lookout for theaters in which to deploy them supposedly to maintain the peace. Recognition is now being given to the simple fact that peace can only prevail when peaceful means are employed to obtain and maintain it. There is never a valid reason to engage in warfare. A war can never be just because war, by its very nature, is unjust and indiscriminate in the suffering and damage that it causes to all involved both those who choose to take part in it and those who had no choice in the matter because they live in the area in which it is being waged. Nevertheless, despite the wars presently in progress on the planet, the conscious intent of the collective to cease all war and to disengage from those presently occurring is gaining a very powerful momentum. As light bearers and way showers your expanding individual energy fields, strengthened and further empowered by their integration with the divine energy field, are having an enormous influence on the unawakened members of human society, who, like you, are here at this moment in humanity's spiritual evolution to assist in the awakening process. You are all involved, you all have your place in this exhilarating and unfolding drama. Humanity's Awakening Attend to your spiritual intent to assist humanity to awaken with persistence and confidence, knowing, as you most certainly do, that it is God's will as well as yours and that therefore success is assured. Your loving brother, Jesus